What's going on everybody? Trivels in here. Welcome back to the Bourbon Ranch. Today we have a head-to-head -head battle. We're gonna keep this one uh, as simple as possible. We have two juggernauts that are gonna be facing off today. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof C921 versus Elijah Craig Barrel Proof C920. C batches are typically my favorite Elijah Craig batches each year. So we are going to be putting the latest Elijah Craig batch up against what might be my favorite Elijah Craig Barrel Proof batch ever. Now 2021 has been kind of a roller coaster of Elijah Craig batches. People have really received them. Some people have hated them. It's kind of been all over the place. I think they are uh, a bit different than what we are used to, especially coming off of 2020's hitter batches, uh, 2019's hitter batches, and then we get 2021, and it is, I think, it's in a different part of the field. So I wanna see side by side just how different uh, the C920 is to the C21, just to see if it truly is as good as we are making it out to be, or if we are just trying these new batches and looking back of days of old and have you know some nostalgia and we make it better than it was. The only way to find that out, I think, is to just side by side them directly, see how they're similar, see how they're different, uh, and see which one is ultimately the best. Without further ado, let's just get right into it. I have both of these poured for me. They've been blinded. I don't know which one is which. Uh, we're just gonna smell them, compare them, taste them, compare them, crown a winner. All right, let's get right into it. Glass A. It's pretty good. This kind of just jumps out of the glass at me. It's like it punches you. It says I'm here and I'm ready to party. It's like perfectly balanced. Tons of oak, tons of charry barrel sweet still. So a lot of vanilla notes coming up too. And they're all kind of cohesively working together. It's like no one note is overpowering and overtaking any of the other notes I'm getting. The alcohol is definitely prevalent. Um, it's letting me know, hey, just saying, I'm about to kick you in the face. And then let's just directly side by side that to glass B on the nose only. So glass B on the nose, huh? quite different. Um, this one seems a lot more subdued. Like everything that I was getting on A was jumping out of the glass. This seems a little bit more buried. Also a lot more oak. Like this is wood, a lot of wood. Home Depot. Um, but honestly, I think the, the wood in that burnt, no, it's burnt wood is kind of taken over the nose to me, to be honest. Okay, hints of the vanilla sweetness that we were getting on uh, glass A. This is kind of hidden. I think it's being overshadowed a little bit by um, the those wood notes, the oak notes. It's still pretty good though. I mean, I'm getting a little bit of this nuttiness probably coming from the barrel. I don't know where nuttiness comes from, but getting a little bit of the nuttiness. It's not like the oak note that I'm getting is a bad, it's not like a, a bitter oakiness, but it's much more prevalent than on glass A, so. All right, that's just the nose. You know, we can smell things all day, but the true test is how I think they taste, so let's taste them. Glass A, let me get the A in my mouth. Yep, there it goes, hits you in the tip. It's going, mm-hmm, there it goes. Ooh, yeah, all the way down. Yeah, that woke me up. That's saying, I'm here, let's go. Totally mouth coating. The finish, okay, before we even get into the tasting notes, um, I'm still feeling it down my esophagus. I can outline the entire length of my esophagus right now. I can tell you where the top of my stomach starts. Fantastic Kentucky hug. I mean, this is holding me tight right now. Again, you know, like I was saying on the nose, I think these notes are very well balanced. Um, there wasn't, it wasn't too oaky, it wasn't too sweet. It was just a uh, conglomeration 
okay? A mixture, a beautiful harmony of flavors in my mouth. Oaky and peanutty, like peanut butter, caramely, cinnamony, nice and spicy, very creamy, coating my entire mouth. Every part of the tongue is activating. So the sweet sensors and the bitter sensors on the side and the little thing in the back and all the way down, everything is lighting up with this. I think this is just a great, this is great. This is freaking fantastic. Super complex. My mind doesn't even know what to do with this other than sit there and enjoy everything that's happening. Now, let's see what glass B brings to the table. Yep, oak, a lot of oak. This is some, some wood, peanutty, really peanutty. Almost reminding me, uh, and call me crazy, of a Knob Creek single barrel. You know, in those bottles, a lot of oak, barrel charry and nutty. That's kind of what I'm getting on this. Very approachable proof. It's not really lighting me up. It did not kick me in the face. It might have it might have given me a little slap. No kick, no punch. Not as not as warming going down. It doesn't, you know, brighten my soul. Um, it's enjoyable. It's very approachable. I don't think it's as cohesive. I don't think it's as complex as glass A was. But overall, for what it is, for what it is bringing to the table, I'm liking it. Let me go back for one last thing. I'll kind of give my final thoughts on them. Glass B is just not as mouth coating. It doesn't have as good of a mouth feel, okay? It's not as creamy. It's not as velvety and coating everything. It's just like a, a nice little glazing. Whereas A is just bursting in your mouth. I don't know if I should put that in the video. And then one of the drastic differences I think is the finish. It's pretty stark. Uh, Glass B's finish is a bit mediocre, uh, to be honest. Uh, the flavors are nice, but there might not be as much going on. So I think between the two, I, I'm gonna have to go with, with A. I think it's just way more going on what it brings to the table, what it has to offer me, it is a lot more. So let's just find out what these are, and then I'll give my final thoughts on them. So the winner, by far, glass A, goes to C920, go friggin' figure, the king of bourbons. Let me say this, okay? There is a very good reason why this bottle has been so positively received and is going down in the history books as one of the greats. It just offers you so much, and it is, I mean, it's explosive. It's very aggressive with, and I'm talking flavors, with the alcohol, with everything. It warms you up. It just, it throws a curveball in your mouth of just, look at all, look what all I can do. So going into the C921, I'm not saying this is not a good bottle. I think this is really good. I've, I've quite enjoyed it right from cracking it, but when we're comparing it, when we are side by siding it straight to uh, the best bottle ever, I don't think it really stands a chance. It just seems flat, um, not as complex. Uh, the finish is way lackluster. I don't ever want to just be negative towards bottles. Uh, I want to find positivity in, in each thing that we drink. I will say the C921 is very approachable much more accessible, I think, to uh, the masses. I think uh, I think a lot more people would be able to get this bottle, crack it, and enjoy it versus maybe the same person cracking the C920. They might say, this is way too much for me. This is, this is fighting me. This is hurting me. This is, this is just too much. Overload. It's too hot. I think these lower proof ones um, a little bit more approachable, and I think uh, whatever factor, whether the barrel came from the bottom of the warehouse or whatever dropped that proof, I think changed uh, the flavor profile in a way that some people might like it a little more. Is it gonna dethrone C920 for me? Nope. All right, guys, that will do it. Just a quick little head-to-head -head battle. If you've had both of these bottles, side-by-side -side them, tell me what you think. 
Or in the comments below, tell me what your favorite Elijah Craig barrel proof batch is and let me know if you'd like to see me uh, put that batch up against a different batch. If you like the video, please hit the like button and if you're not subscribed, click the subscribe button. It really does help the channel. If you click that little bell notification thing, you can click all. You will be notified every time I upload a video and every time I go live each Friday night. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and until next time, I'm Trev Wilson. I'll see you in the next video.